judge has denied Amber Heard's request to have the verdict of Johnny Depp's defamation trial against her dismissed and the case retried. The Aquaman star's legal team filed a motion earlier this month based on the motion the jury verdict delivered in June that she defamed her ex-husband was not backed up by evidence. Miss Heard's lawyers also alleged about the eligibility of one member of the jury, following claims juror 15 was never called for duty and was wrongly seated in the trial. In court documents Judge Penny Oscarte, who oversaw the high-profile trial, denied all of Ms. Heard's legal team's requests. Mr. Depp was awarded compensatory damages of $10 million, £8 million, and a further £5 million, £4 million, in punitive damages in June, following a six-week-long high-profile televised defamation case in Virginia. The jury also found the Pirates of the Caribbean star liable for defamation against his one-time wife when one of his attorneys claimed her allegations of sexual abuse were a hoax. They awarded the mum of one $2 million in compensatory damages and $0 in punitive damages. In a 43-page memorandum filed earlier this month, Ms. Heard's lawyers contested the verdict and argued that the verdict should be dismissed due to their claim that Mr. Depp proceeded solely on a defamation by implication theory, abandoning any claims that Hems. Heard's statements were actually false. The motion also mentioned the an alleged error in the jury selection process claiming that the juror referred to as Juror 15 was listed as being born in 1945 in court records. Ms. Hurd's team claimed Juror 15 was clearly born later than 1945. Publicly available information demonstrates that he appears to have been born in 1970. This discrepancy raises the question whether Juror 15 actually received a summons for jury duty and was properly vetted by the court to serve on the jury. It appears his identity could not have been verified, the filing adds. Judge Ben Yaskarate ruled that there was no evidence of fraud or wrongdoing by the juror and that the jury's verdict should stand. She also noted that both sides had questioned and accepted all jurors at the start of the trial. Judges Kurate's denial of the requests from Ms. Heard's team come following the most recent hearing related to the case on June 24, in which the judge finalized the verdict in the court's records. Mr. Depp sued his ex-wife over a newspaper article titled, I Spoke Up Against Sexual Violence, and Faced Our Culture's Wrath. That has to change. The piece, published in the Washington Post in 2018, did not name the actor, but the star's legal team successfully argued that the op-ed had a damaging impact on his career. Ms. Heard's lawyers have previously claimed that the actress isn't a position to pay the damages, and it had been suggested by his lawyer Benjamin Chu that Mr. Depp may be willing to waive the debt should his ex-wife agree to not continuing with appeals. The former couple struck up a romance in 2011, after meeting on the set of the set of the comedy drama film, The Rum Diary. They tied the knot in a civil ceremony in February 2015. Miss Heard filed for divorce from the dad of two in May 2016 and obtained a temporary restraining order against him. The final terms of the divorce settlement were agreed in January 2017, with the city of Lies after required to complete a payment of $7 million to his former wife over the course of the year.